Hey everybody, it's Adam Farkas and this is Seco. Um, and I'm here today to tell you about a brand new site sponsor and a brand new product called the AB Max. And I am here today with John Choate, the chairman of Myco Industries and the inventor of the AB Max. So John's gonna walk us through the product, let us know all about it, and maybe tell us a little bit of history about it as well. So John, thanks so much for having me here today. Oh, thank you for let me be here. So do you want to give people just a little background on the product, where it came from, and, and you know, tell people what it's all about? The AB Max is, uh, is a brand new product that was designed to treat anterior blepharitis. Mm -hmm. uh, and very quickly, the way this works is, is that the docs would essentially use their existing algebra brush and disassemble it. And the way that that goes together is they would pull the algebra brush motor out assemble it into the AB Max, screw the sleeve on, right. and then attach the algebra brush, brush, and then that would allow them with our AB Max tips to do procedures again for treating anterior blepharitis. So the, again, once the device is, is assembled and the tip is in place, the doctor technician can fill, clean the reservoir, fill it with lid scrub solution of their choice, right. soak it, saturate it until it's soft, and then they press and hold the button for a couple of seconds until it turns in forward mode. Mm -hmm. They would debreed the eyelid margin, outer eyelid margin as appropriate. They press the button again and it goes in reverse mode. And then they press the button again and it actually goes in pulse mode, which we have a patent pending on, which is much more comfortable for the patient, does much better job of debreeding, and then also massages the anterior eyelid margins. Right. Right, uh, and, and so I know that other folks are probably familiar with, with similar products. How, how is this different, you know, if you were going to contrast other, other solutions that are on the market right now? So it's an interesting question. So we uh, may not know this, but I designed the first doctor's treatment for blepharitis. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, without the long story, essentially, <laughs> uh, we wanted, I, I thought of a better way to treat uh, anterior blepharitis, specifically because the first device des we designed only does forward and reverse motion. Right. That's all it does. And if you take a look at, this is actually the first device that we designed, or the guts from the first device that I designed. Hmm. If you take a look at this, and then you look at the algebra brush motor, you notice any difference? Oh yeah. They're the same motor. Yeah, it's, it's literally the same part. They are the same motor. Huh. So as I was thinking about this, again with my engineering background, I said, all right, you know what, there's a better way to, to, to treat patients with, with using this kind of technology. Right. So what I did is, again, I've been working for a couple of years on designing the, the AB Max to um, kind of enhance that procedure, enhance the ability for doctors to be able to treat uh, anterior blepharitis. And right. specifically, um, we've, again, we filed patents on our pulse mode which essentially um, oscillates the tip, and uh, once it's on the patient's anterior eyelid margins, it, it actually gently massages the tips, right. massages the eyelids, uh, debreeding them, and it's actually, a, uh, patients have told us it's actually a much more comfortable sensation. It does a better job of cleaning. Right. And let's talk about the tips here for a second. Let me see if I can zoom in on them just so everyone can sort of see, because I know tips are something that people like to talk a lot about. How does it work with replacing the tips, and, and how much do the, do the replacements cost? So right now, the, so the, the tips are PVA, uh, so it's the, again the same as competitor X as we're calling them. Um, they're they're the same tips, and it's essentially we're, we're leveraging the algebra brush chuck, mm -hmm. uh, and the tips are also patented. We've got six patents globally on the tips, right. uh, and then the U.S. patents are actually forthcoming. But essentially, they would be again pulled from the, the peel pouch. Assembled, I can't obviously can't use this one, it's not sterile, but it will be sure. assembled onto the chuck. And then once they're saturated, the PVA swells, becomes very soft. Mm -hmm. It's surgical grade micro sponge, and it's used to again uh, debride the anterior eyelid margins. Right. And then in terms of cost, we are uh, less than half of our competitors. Really? So these tips are right now in the, on the intro special are uh, at $14.95 per procedure. Oh, wow. And the other thing that we've done, again, is we wanted to make sure that this procedure and the device were much more cost effective, which is part of the reason that the na it's named AB Max, mm. is affordable blepharo exfoliation. Oh, makes uh, sense. Anterior, anterior blepharo exfoliation, there's a number, of, a number of reasons we picked this name. So uh, uh, the device actually will be less than a third of our competitors' cost, wow. and the tips are less than half of our competitors' tips, which makes it much more 
uh, affordable for doctors across the world to be able to treat anterior blepharitis in right. a much more affordable fashion without a huge capital and investment. And just for people who've never actually seen this one or the competing one, how, you know, what, how does it work? Does the patient have to come back multiple times? How do you recommend people well, use Well, typically, uh, from, from our experience in, in uh, again, in, at former company mm -hmm. and, and now in my company, uh, is the patients typically are treated every, you know, four to six months. Right. Because the anterior blepharitis, as you know, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, inflammation and, and I issue with the anterior eyelids, which tends to be uh, needs to be cleaned. Right. Essentially, it needs to be cleaned. And the, the more they're cleaned, uh, the, the less bacterial bacterial buildup you'll get and the better the patient eye, eyes does. Right. So, uh, again, if the patient's doing uh, efficient low lid scrubs at home, which most of them aren't, right. uh, they, then they tend to have less issues. But if they, if they aren't doing them at home, then they can see their, their doctor to have this done every four to six months and then send them home to do their own lid scrubs. And then as part of our starter pack, we're also... Uh, you know, including our, our eye check to make sure patients are cleaning it the right way. Right. So there's there's one doctor on Odie Wire who has the philosophy that patients will not do anything that he tells him tells them to do at home. Right. So if he's going to get any therapeutic effect, it's got to be in the office. Um, so this kind of a device yes. is probably you know something just another you know thing that you can use in office to try to just kickstart the process. Exactly. Exactly. Cool. And you know, I notice also we have the eye check sitting right here. Um, and I think a lot of ODR folks are familiar with the eye check. Um, we've used it before. So what's this? So, so the eye check is, a, is actually patented now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a patented device to allow patients to be able to see what they've been missing on their eyelids up, up close and personal. Right. So it's designed again to be used by patients when they go home and do lid scrubs. They would use the projection on the eye check to pull down their lower lid and then they would push the button to illuminate the, the 10x mirror which would then again give them visibility into their any scurf debris, anything that they might have missed on their eyelashes. And that includes even makeup uh, right. you know, at the end of the day. We've had a number of uh, customers, not patients, customers actually uh, mentioned that it, it's very helpful in removing the eye makeup at the end of the day, which actually they think is, is very helpful for them in, in moving forward. Right, we actually use it uh, at home. My wife uses it for foreign bodies sometimes with my son, or you know, if she gets something in her eye, it's the first thing right. she does, she reaches for it. Right, so. and then there's, a, there's also a lot of doctors that will use this for scleral lenses. Hmm. And we've actually had uh, very good success with docs that, that will prescribe scleral lenses because the scleral lenses, you know, sometimes get air bubbles. Right. And then when the patient's at home, they can't see the air bubbles and they can't see because of the air bubbles. So the, the eye check actually helps them uh, alleviate or minimize or reduce the eye, uh, you know, the air bubbles and then you know, move on with their day. Great. All right. Well, well thanks for this. And I know, you know, this is sort of the, the grand coming out for the device, right? Yes, this is the, the grand intro. So you mentioned a special before. You just want to sort of run over what that, that is again? So the Seco Show Special introductory kind of pre-release special is fourteen ninety five. Okay. And that in, that's actually for our starter kit. And the starter kit actually includes the uh, AB Max device with a new algebra brush. So mm -hmm. the doctors, I know most ophthalmologists, optometrists have algebra brushes anyway, but we're going to include a brand new algebra brush with the with the device, um, five packs of procedure or five procedure packs for the tips to do the procedures, patient brochures, anatomical eyelid model again for educating the patients on what difference between a healthy lid and an unhealthy lid, um, five eye checks, and then also a Demodex mite for demonstrating uh, the the nasty things that Demodex do on your eyelids. I was wondering what that thing was. <laughs> So again, it's, for, it's good for educating patients on what a Demodex right. looks like at least, and hopefully that'll scare them into cleaning their own eyelids. There we go. All right, well, John, thanks so much for showing us all this stuff today. And remember everyone, there's a Seco Show special going on right now. And if you have any questions about what you just saw, go onto ODWire, post in the thread below. I'm gonna be at Seco for the entire duration, and, and certainly, John, you'll be here too. I will be here. And so what we can do is we, you know, I can come back and answer any questions that you might have. So feel free to fire away, and I'll see you online.